some photographic evidence. We're going to look at the long-term cathedral site that was in Jack's talk. We're going to look at a backwater study site just three miles downstream there, mile six. We'll look at some sandbars in the lower half of Marble Canyon. River Mile 2, this is basically an eddy on the left side above <coughs> Cathedral Wash. This is the same site that Jack showed us in Emmett Larson photograph in 1974. This is the pre-flow reattachment bar and backwater return current channel taken in February 2008. So I'm starting off, you want the good news or the bad news first? The bad news is what we know already is not everybody won this this outcome. The bar in that eddy, as photographed literally two days ago, uh, is gone. This is the view that we saw that Jack provided from October 1987. That's the bar four hours ago, and you can see that, again, from this perspective, there's very little sand. The channel margin deposits are very scant through there, and the eddy deposit is temporarily, hopefully, uh, gone, but maybe it'll come back. So Emmett Larson actually predicted this. I told you in 1976, he said, well, it's unavoidable. If you take 90% of a resource away and continue releasing clear water from the dam, he predicted 30 years ago, there was no way around this. We still haven't convinced ourselves that he was right, but from images like this, you might get it that he was onto something. Hopefully he's not totally correct. In 96, even though things looked good afterwards, the net mass balance of that experiment, mostly because of its duration and the lack of sand enrichment beforehand, was net negative. A little good news. Okay, so now we get down to eminence. River Mile 45, this is the pre-test pre photo of the Eddy. It's the first photographic match I have in Lower Marble Canyon that would suggest that not, you know, not all is lost. This is encouraging. There's a great big backwater return current channel in here, a place that gets seen when there are typically native fish found in this site, even this far up in the, in the system, presumably from the 30 mile aggregation, uh, when it apparently conducted a spawn in 05 because of warmer temperatures from the, from the reduced storage in the reservoir of Lake Powell. This isn't a match, but these are just sort of oblique photos taken by the field crews immediately after the water went down after this last uh, experiment at River Mile 58. This is looking across the river from river left to river right to the Maldosa site. Reports that I've had anecdotally from David Topping, who's looked at the air photos uh, as Jack has, he reports that he thinks this bar area is equivalent to 1984 conditions. That's, that's huge news. The point, the point camp at Tanner on river right really, really built and extends at least at the time the photo was taken, extends by still being there a year or so. I mean, we matched this yesterday, literally a compliment to Dave Topping. He took a photo of this site. People are already showing up and going, wow, this is pretty good. Zoroaster Camp are getting into critical reaches in terms of camping access, camping availability. Obviously a concern to the guides, commercial passengers, the National Park Service. This camp appears to have really built up very nicely. So it'll be up to you folks in your coming season, and even starting with the, with the uh, river trip that's leaving this week, to assess for yourself what you think has been accomplished here. We're looking at it again from a scientific point of view, but as end users, of course, you and your clients are the ones who will tell us, hey, this looks like it worked. This wasn't so great after all. Thank you very much.